is about, who might not know what we excited about, might not know why we cut up like that when we say the name Jesus, amen? Uh, uh, maybe you hadn't tasted yet <laughs> the sweetness of that name, Jesus. Anybody hear me up in here? Uh, so, so I just want to take this opportunity, amen, to, to briefly, amen, sub subscribe to you, describe to you rather the sweetness of that name, amen? And, and, and sometimes we put it at the back of the service, but, but we gotta follow the spirit of the living God, amen? Hallelujah, and so, so if you're here, hallelujah, and you don't know if you're saved, you don't know if, if you're born again, you don't know if, if you died right now, that, that whether you would go to heaven or not, and, and you're looking at all us cutting up about Jesus, and you don't feel that same excitement, you don't feel that same pull, that same draw, amen. We cut up like that because first and foremost, amen, he delivered our sin-sick soul. He, he saved us, amen, he saved us, he, he saved us. We, we differ now because of him. We born again because of him. Old things are passed away and all things have become new. Anybody hear me up in here? And so, so, so for you this morning, if you're here, it could be one or two, it doesn't matter, hallelujah, it could be young, could be old, amen. What you need to know, amen, about Jesus is this, all right? It starts off with us, and it starts off with some bad news about us. And the bad news about us is that we are all sinners. Anybody hear me up in here? We all sinners. We all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God, the Bible says. Uh, there's not a single man or woman that sin it not, the Bible says. Bible says, amen, that, 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 hallelujah, that our righteousness, our good works to God is like filthy rags, the Bible says, amen. Uh, we've all sinned. There's none righteous, no, not one, all right? And all we got to do is just take a periphery examination of the Ten Commandments, all right? Uh, we haven't always put God first, amen? Have no other God beside me. We hadn't always honored our mother and father, amen? We hadn't always, thou shalt not bear false testimony. We've lied before. Thou shalt not steal. We've stole before. So all of us have sinned. The problem with sin is, is that the wages of sin is death. When you sin against God, amen, what God owes you is death. Physical death, but most importantly, spiritual death and eternal death. We call spiritual and eternal death, we call that hell. We call that hell. Hades in another language. And what that means is that because you're a sinner, you can't go home to live in a holy heaven unless something is done about your sin. All right? And now we get to the good news. The good news is that God saw that you was a sinner, but he didn't give up on you. <laughs> he didn't give up on you. He knew all the wrong that you did, but he continued to love you and still loves you to this very moment, all right? And the Bible says he demonstrated his love towards us, that while we were yet sinners, his son, his son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, to die for the ungodly. And when we say die for, it means to die in the place of. Anybody hear me up in here? Hallelujah. This is called the substitutionary atonement. It means that Jesus went where you were supposed to be. It's kind of like in school when, when the teacher couldn't show up, they got a what? A substitute. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Death was waiting for you at the cross. Huh? But God called in a what? A substitute. Hey, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Jesus substituted you at Calvary's Hill. When the devil expected you to be there, Jesus showed up. And he took the nails. He took the spear. They spit on him. They slapped him. They beat him. And it wasn't for his sin that, that he did that. It was for your sin. Every lie you told, every time you did what God wanted you not to do, amen, that was all put upon Jesus. 
Every sin of yours was a hammer stroke of that nail that went in his head. Every sin of yours was that whip that hit him on the back. The Bible says, amen, hallelujah. For he made him who knew no sin. Sin. He made him sin who knew no sin. Huh? Huh? That we might become the righteousness of God. <laughs> he showed up for you and was your substitute. Then God put what was on you, sin, on him and took what was on him, his righteousness, and then put it, put it on you. Hey, come on somebody. Come on somebody. And then he told us this. Watch this, ministers, watch this. Then he told us this. He said, now, you could be saved now because of what I did on the cross. But all you got to do is believe and ask me. Because you ain't getting nothing from God unless you ask him. You only have not because you ask not. And that's in everything with God. So you got to humble yourself and say, God, I'm a sinner and I need a savior. And the Bible says, deacons and deaconesses, that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord, woo, not might be, not maybe, but they shall be saved. Anybody hear me up in here? Hey, 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 hey. That's why there's something about the name of Jesus. That's why it's the sweetest name that I know. That's why I get excited. That's why it's like fire. Shut up in my bone. Cause I call and he answered. Hey, it is.
dice era Lalo. Y'all got it, y'all it, y'all got it. Woo! I know, I know. know. Alright, we're gonna go high on this one no matter who listening. Come on, watch it, watch it. So we're going to pray right now. I'm going to get to the word. We're going to pray right now, right from your seat. We're going to pray. I know we're going to end, but we're going to just, we following the spirit. You didn't heard the gospel. You didn't heard the gospel. We're just going to pray. Somebody going to get saved right now. During worship time. <laughs> During worship time. And so we're just going to just, 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 just bow your head right here and just... Just close your eyes. Just forget where you are. You're in the presence of God right now. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Hallelujah. Our, our, our wolf pack got all that. They, they got all that. They, they, they got all that. Hallelujah. They, they got all that. You ain't got to worry about nothing that's going on in the sanctuary. Just close your eyes and just, just, just be in the throne room of God for a second. And, 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 and know this. Know this. Every single wrong that you've done, that blood washes away all your sins. We're about to get under the blood. It's about to be a shower of blood upon your soul to wash you, cleanse you, purge you of all your sins. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. If you prefer the Hebrew, somebody say Yahshua. Just say thank you, Yahshua. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I've, said I've said some things. Done some things. I've fallen short. I've fallen short. And, I'm sorry. and I'm sorry. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, for, being my for being my substitute. For taking my place. Taking my place. So that I can be forgiven. Somebody say, I believe, I believe in, Jesus. in Jesus. Everything about him. His life, his death, his burial. I believe Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Now, Father God, save me and forgive me because of Jesus. Not because of me, but because of Jesus. Put my sins on him and put his righteousness on me. Save me, forgive me, fill me with your spirit and use me for your glory. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him a shout of praise up in this place. Something about that name. Just something about it. Just something about it. Set you on fire. Set you on fire. It's the sweetest. It's just the sweetest. It's the most powerfulest. Hallelujah. Everything you need, you can get in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and pray so we can get going. Amen. Most high God, we thank you for that powerful name. And we thank you that whatsoever we ask in that name, we will receive. Well, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray for everybody who sincerely prayed that prayer who wasn't saved, that they be saved 
to the uttermost. We also pray in the name of Jesus that even your people who are already saved, that they would be delivered in that name to the uttermost. We pray also, God, your people who are saved, Father God, and they walk in it out, that you would set them on fire for your gospel in the name of Jesus. We pray you bring us back to our first love. We pray you restore the joy of our salvation. We pray, God, that you would get us up out the mud and run this race like we're supposed to run it, God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen us, God. Increase our faith, Father God. Bless us, Father God, to go from strength to strength, from glory to glory, and from faith to faith. God, in the name of Jesus, for those who came in unprepared, let us be armored right now with the full armor of God. I pray as I pray this in the name of Jesus, that spiritual armor would come upon your people, God. I pray that their feet would be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I pray, God, that they would have on the belt of your truth. I pray, God, right now, armor your people, your army, with the breastplate of righteousness. I pray, God, that they have on the helmet of salvation, God, the sword of the Spirit, God. I pray above all, taking with them the shield of faith by which they can quench all the fiery darts of the adversary, praying always in the Spirit about all with thanksgiving, bless your people, arm us. We rising up a mighty army, arm us with the arm of God. Bless us, Daddy. Hallelujah. Let this week be a blessed week, a spirit filled week, an anointed week, whereby we go out and slay giants and do great exploits in your holy and most worthy name. Bless us, God. Fill us, God. Set us on fire, God. Not just in this sanctuary, but every sanctuary that's got us plugged in. Every home that's got us dialed in. Every living room that's got us streaming in God. In the name of Yahshua, God. Raise up a mighty army of your people, God. Hebrews, hallelujah. Gentiles, Father, Father God. Cut out the rock without hands that's going to slay the Babylonian image, God. In the name of Yahshua, Hamashiach, God. We thank you right now that princes are rising up. Princesses are rising up. Kings are rising up. Queens are rising up. Pastors are rising up. Prophets are rising up. Apostles are rising up. Deacons are rising up. Deaconesses are rising up. Worshippers are rising up. Prayer warriors are rising up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The church is rising up in the name of Jesus. Church, arise in the name of Jesus. Yahuda, arise in the name of Jesus. David, arise. Hezekiah, arise. Deborah, arise. Isaiah, arise. Jeremiah, arise. Paul, arise. Peter, arise. Open doors that no man can shut. Take us places we thought we would never be. Let the lives that we live be not lives of ordinary, but the extraordinary. Not the mundane, God, but the exemplary. Bless us, O King, to do things we thought that were not possible. To possess things that we thought were unpossessable. To have things, God, that we thought that we would never have, God. For you said in your word that the people that know their God shall do great exploits, God. You said mighty works would follow us. Greater works would be upon us. You said that our seed would be mighty in the earth, Father God. So God, in the name of Yahshua, God, let them come to pass. We open an age of miracles, of signs, an age of wonders, God. Hey, an age, an age, an age. You said that whatever we loose on earth.
would be loosed in heaven. We loose God on earth, calling into heaven an age of miracles, of signs, and of wonders, God. Shake this place. Shake this place. Shake the foundations of the kingdoms of men. Shake this place. Let them know there's still a God in heaven. Shake this place. Let them know. Let them know that the God of Israel, the God of Judah, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob is still alive and well. Shake, 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 shake the foundation. And through your darling son, Yahshua, do works in these last days works in these last days though if somebody told us we would believe it not we pray that the book of Acts would come back in this day God. we pray that the book of Acts would come through in this day God. we pray that you would fill us and anoint us so much God that our shadow passing by or heal the sick that, that articles of our clothing would touch and remove diabetes and remove cancer and remove God, in the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, God. We know you can do it, and you saved the best for last, God. We know that our latter end in the church will be greater than our beginning. So shake, shake, shake. Shake the foundations, God, of the kingdoms of men, of the governments of men. Miracles, signs, wonders, provision, prosperity, God. Arise. Church. Arise, church. Arise, church. Arise, church. Arise, church. Dead bones live. Dead bones live. Dead bones live. <laughs> church arise. Church arise. Church arise. Church arise. He said, prophesy to the bones. That's the way to get the bones up. He said, prophesy to the bones. He told Ezekiel, he said, can these dry bones, can they, can they live? <laughs> Ezekiel said, thou knowest. He said, and just prophesy to the bones. I prophesy to the bones of Israel. I prophesy to the bones of Israel. I prophesy to the bones of Israel. You will know your
be sitting in places, commanding peoples, running meetings, signing checks, families eating off your table. the neighborhoods that you came out of with turkeys and presents and hams and he said prophesy to the dry bones I say to you dry bones live which is the opposite of dying, I say, live. Which is the opposite of poverty, I say to you, live. Which is the opposite of ignorance, I say to you, live. Live, live, live. Live in your purpose, live in your prosperity, live in your God, live saved, live delivered, live free I say live I say live because sometimes what we're doing is not really living right now we just surviving God don't want you to survive he wants you to thrive and so he says to you he says live I prophesy to you live signs, wonders, live. Revival, live. Salvation, live. Running through your families, running through your cities, running through your churches, even through your businesses. They won't be able to stand up next to you without even talking about God. The presence of God. I prophesy to you, Yahuda, the presence of God will drip from you fill every room that you walk into. People will act different when you walk in. Because they're going to feel the presence of God. They're going to they gonna watch the way they speak around you, not even know who you are. They're going to just, it's just something when you walk in. The presence, the presence, the presence, the presence, the presence, the presence. The presence in the book of Acts, that's what they said. They say, they say, God, they the world cutting up, they persecuting us. Stretch forth thy hand, the apostles asked, that there might be many mighty signs and wonders that this world might know that through your darling beloved child, Jesus Christ, you came to save the sin sick souls of men. So as he lift you up and bless you in every area of your life. Know the purpose of it, Yahudah. Know the purpose. The purpose is for you to bring lost souls to the kingdom. No matter how many locations you get, no matter how high up you get, it's all about the souls of men. Every now and then, the king of kings is going to send one of them lost ones by you just to see if you remember the agreement, the contract that you've done. So now I prophesy to tell you in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. Joseph is upon your life the favor and it doesn't matter where you start because God is always going to make sure that you finish well come on give him some praise in this house in the name in the name in the name in the name in that blessed name that matchless name that wonderful, majestic, and mighty name of Yahweh.
Yahshua Jesus, we pray and receive these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give him some praise up in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Woo. Appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In the Old Testament, one of the prophets, he needed to prophesy. They say, bring him a minstrel. Bring him a minstrel. Bring him some anointed worship and, and prophecy going to come out. Now, I just want to say that, 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 you know, what we're doing here by prophesying is, is we're not playing up here. All right? You grab hold to these words and run with them. Because I ain't doing nothing but prophesying the word of God over your life. And his word never goes out void. And it always accomplishes the purpose for which it's sent out. So if something spoke to you, grab onto it. Write it down. Type it in the notes of your phone. Take it with you. Don't let it fall to the ground. Don't leave it here. We got families, amen, that's been getting in touch with the church that's been telling us that we just not talking up here. But miracles are actually happening. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they, they buying properties, hallelujah, two, three at a time. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to tell their business. They're going to tell their own business, but, but they getting stuff that, whoo, is supposed to be worth <laughs> millions. You understand what I'm saying? So, so write down the word you heard that apply to you. Keep it burning in your memory and run with that word. Run with it. Because sometimes you got to write the vision and make it plain. So that he, them that read it, they could what? They could run with it. Just don't let it, just don't let it, just, you got to write it. If something hits you, live, thrive, abundance, your business, health, your children, write it down. First thing they taught us in school, whether it was law school, whether it was undergrad, even high school. Sometimes we rely upon our human memory too much. And especially for spiritual things, if you think it's just your memory not good in math or history, spiritual things is worse. Because when you get a word, the flesh don't want to keep it. The world don't want you to have it. And the devil tries to steal it. Yes, yes. So sometimes you got to take it and write it down. Yes. You're going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to look at that word and you're going to say, that's my word. And when the devil come and say, hello, you're going to always be that. You pick that thing up and you say, but this is my word. Yes. That's the word I got. Write the vision. Make it plain. So that they that read it may run with it. In Jesus' name. Come on, give y'all some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We having fun today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some people are like, man, boy, church was good. Church ain't started. We just, <laughs> we just, we did some things opposite, you know what I'm saying? But, but that's how you follow the spirit of the living God. You know what I'm saying? I just, I couldn't waste that anointing that the worship team had put out there. That's right. Glory. Jesus was all in the atmosphere. <laughs> Y'all did a good job with that. Jesus was all in the atmosphere. If I had to get up and do anything else, I would have been pushing Jesus out, only to invite him back at the end of service. Now, nah, we can just go ahead and just have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. You got to leave space for the Holy Ghost in everything you do. Come on, give him some glory up in this house. 